Why should a farmer use a pre-emerged corn herbicide, Darren? Roundup's been working great. One shot of Roundup. Why use a pre? <laughs> well, I look at it the other way. When you've got $5 plus corn per bushel, what can you do to raise more yield? And the first thing when I talk to corn farmers is, use a corn pre-emerge herbicide. When you think about yield in all the university trials for the last 20 years, we've seen when we use a corn pre-emerge herbicide, we get more yield. And part of the reason is much better weed control and weed control before those weeds are up, robbing sunlight, robbing nutrients, and affecting other physiological things going on within our corn plants that we don't even fully understand yet. Well, this is one of the things that really frustrates me. I see university studies come out and time after time after time, they show that we've got to control our weeds relatively early. Yet I hear some people say, well, it's no big deal. There are just a few weeds, they get up in the field, and then I kill them once with Roundup. Okay, look, the two concerns I've got with this are number one, you are losing yield and you are losing income because you've lost moisture, you've lost nutrients. But the bigger issue right now is we're very concerned about Roundup resistant weeds. And if you're just going out there with Roundup and maybe even you throw a, some kind of tank mix partner post-emerge, you haven't mixed up your modes of action enough, we're very worried about that. And that's one of the reasons why all these big ag chemical companies, they're basically giving you their glyphosate for free if you use a pre-emerge herbicide. They're so concerned about losing this product, losing the trait that they're selling you on the seed side, that they're, they're willing to give you a whole bunch of money just to make sure that you're putting down a pre-emerge herbicide. This is important. When you look at the type of weeds that are going to be a problem in corn, typically in a grass crop like corn, the grass weeds are the biggest yield robber and the toughest to kill in crop. You look at the early season, cool season grasses, a lot of them are foxtails in our part of the world, and foxtails can really rob corn yields. So with most of the basic pre's like your harness, surpass, dual, outlook, those products are focused mainly on controlling grasses. But one of the things that's often forgotten about those products is they're also pretty good at controlling small seeded broadleaves. Things like lamb's quarters and kochia, water hemp, all those types of weeds, we can do a decent job with our pre-emerge herbicides. Now, if you want even a wider spectrum of weeds controlled with that pre, there are other combination products that add in more broadleaf killer with that grass control product, and these are becoming more popular, whether it's Roundup Ready corn or conventional corn. So products like Triple Flex, Sure Start, and Verdict are becoming more popular. They're combination products. They've got a grass killer in there and they also have a broadleaf killer or maybe even two broadleaf killers. The reason why a lot of farmers have gone to products like these is it's nice to get that grass control that you might get out of a harness or pass outlook or dual, but adding that broadleaf control becomes more important as Roundup becomes less effective on the broadleaves. So in the southern United States, we've got major problems with palmer pigweed. In the northern U.S., major problems with lamb's quarters, kochia, water hemp, a number of other weeds, and we can do a better job with the combination products. Now that's not to say that we don't want to see harness or surpass or outlook or dual ever used again, because on a lot of farms that's enough. On our farm, for example, we will use just those straight products, but if you're very concerned about broadleaves, just switch over to a combination product. It really doesn't cost that much more money. Well, not only will you get more weed control with those products. The other thing is it buys you is some peace of mind. You think about it, you're out planting corn. You don't want to have to stop because, oh no, I've got weeds popping up in my corn that's only one leaf out now. You want to keep planting until you're done. By putting a pre-emerge herbicide out and one that's going to control more weeds, now you don't have to get right back into that corn because corn starts losing yield. You know, already at V1, V2, when your corn is really small and you start seeing some of those grasses pop out of the ground, you're losing yield. So if you can control those weeds until maybe V5, V6, that gives you a lot more time before you have to get back in the field. And actually a lot of those V5, V6 type applications are getting more popular with the use of fungicide in addition to corn broadly control which has also shown some positive yield gain. One of the big questions that a lot of farmers have is when should I put this pre-emerge herbicide on? Can't I wait to put it together with my Roundup post-emerge? Well we would much rather see you do a split application. Put your pre-emerge herbicide out early, get those early weeds under control, then the stragglers, whatever escapes, you can hit those with your post-emerge herbicide. You'll have better overall weed control, better yield. I know it's another trip over the field, but it's not that big a deal. I mean when you have five dollar corn or whatever crop you're in, commodity prices are 
good. It only costs a couple bucks to run over the field when you're doing your own spraying. Just make a separate trip. You'll be much happier with the results. And also, be careful because there are some products you can't spray post-emerge. Like Verdict, for example, that's got Kixor in there, and you cannot spray Kixor post-emerge over a crop or you'll burn it down. Very safe on the crop, used pre-emerge, you just can't use it early post. The other two questions that I commonly get is what about rotational restrictions? If I use a residual product, am I going to be able to rotate to the crop that I want to rotate to? Now your standard products like your Harness Surpass Dual Outlook just for grass control typically don't have a lot of restriction other than to some of the grass crops. But once you start mixing those broadleaf herbicides in there, some of them do have some restrictions if you're in something outside of a corn soybean rotation. Now the other question that we get is how do I put these products on? Can I leave them lay on top or do I have to till them in? Well, we'd much rather see you till them in, but if you have to leave them lay on top, you just need to get some rain. And it's no big deal if you don't get 100% control when you don't get that rain because you're coming with something post-emerge like Roundup that will usually knock out about everything else. Eventually, when you get rain, you will get some activity out of that pre. And just keep that tillage very shallow. You don't want to bury these corn pre-emerge products. You want to keep them in that top inch or maybe two inches of soil at the most. Well, once again, this pre-emerge weed control thing is a big deal, especially if you've got our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed?